God, I thank you for the word that you have put in my brother's uh, heart and on his lips, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would just anoint his words and make them penetrate our hearts um, and divide between soul and spirit. And I also pray uh, that um, I, I, I rebuke the spirit of fear or uh, the, the, the spirit of uh, man-pleasing. And I just pray that you would... Um, Give my brother strength and boldness to deliver the word. And I also pray over Sunday, Lord Jesus. I pray that you'd be uh, there in power and that you would move mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, Josh. Y'all can hear me, right? Yes. Perfect. All right. So uh, it's actually kind of funny that uh, the schedule should put me and my brother on together today because I'm going to be speaking on love. And uh, you'll get why I say that more as I go on. Now, in the Greek that Paul wrote, there are four words for love. There's phylos love. That's the type of love we have for siblings. There's storge love. Uh, and a, that, that's the love that a child has for their parents. And there's eros love or romantic love. And then there's uh, agape love. And that's the love that God has for us. Today, I'm going to be speaking about phylos love. Phylos love, as I said before, is the love between a brother and, uh, their, and, and his siblings. And y'all who have siblings know that kind of love. You hate when they get on your nerves, but when somebody's doing something to them uh, that's wrong, you protect them at all costs. God designed that relationship as a way to teach us how to treat each other as Christians. John 13, 35 in the Amplified Version says, By, everyone you, by this, uh, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you have love and unselfish concern for one another. There is a story of when John the Apostle, not to be accused, uh, uh, confused with John the Baptist, was old and crippled. He had to be carried to the church from his home. As he was being carried by his followers, he kept repeating the phrase, little children love one another, over and over, until one of his disciples finally asked him, Master, why do you say this? John replied with, it is the Lord command, Lord's command. If it is done, it is enough. The type of love he is talking about was phylos love. We are brothers and sisters, uh, sisters in Christ, so we are to love each other. That's why if y'all get around me for any period of time, and after, after uh, you've been friends with me for a while, I'll say, hey, yo, I love you, bro. Whenever, uh, whether you are a guy or a girl, I want you to know that I love you as my brother or sister. And sometimes it's awkward because to some, love is something that you have for your girl only. But it's, it's important that we see ourselves as brothers and sisters in Christ. Even Jesus put his disciples into the phylos category, and I'll prove it to you. Someone said to him, this is the Amplified Version, look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But Jesus replied to the one who told him, who is my mother and my brothers, and stretched out his hand, his hand towards his disciples and his other followers. And he said, here are my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the will of my father who is in heaven and by believing in me and following me is my brother and my sister and my mother that me uh whoever does the will of my father means everyone not just people you like i remember when alan hood and Corey russell were here about two years ago and alan hood was saying how one of his sons was mad at the other one and i had alan had to tell his son no that brother is your gift that part of them that you don't like is probably your gift there is somebody i know i won't say who they get on my nerves because i see the jp of two years ago in them but what I see uh, God saying is that that person is my gift. And if I steward that gift, then God will give me more. So what I'm saying today is that we are to see each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. And with that comes a bond that not, is not easily broken. I'm going to end now. Jesus, we come to you right now as unshaken vessels of invade. God, we repent for, what, for we have seen people that are our brothers and sisters under your wings, but maybe we haven't treated them in the way you like us to treat them. God, we ask for another chance with those gifts that we may steward them correctly. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you want to stay tuned in for more, be sure to hit that notification bell. And also, follow us on Instagram, unshaken underscore vessels. That's all we have for today. Thank you.